Call of Duty has had its fair share of memorable weapons over the years, especially in terms of zombies, and today I'm going to be attempting to get to around 50 with one of those weapons, and that is the Weevil. Uh, the Weevil is memorable for all of the wrong reasons. I mean, firstly, it's called the Weevil. It's literally named after an insect. The gun itself also just sucks, so... Yay. Before we get into this, I just want to say, uh, so you all know beforehand, this video is a mess. Uh, just a complete travesty. A train wreck, some might say. Uh, right from the beginning, all the way until the end. Just, it's just a mess. So, uh, you can't say you weren't warned. First attempt, and I booted up Revelations. I feel like this map doesn't get enough love, and honestly, it's kind of deserved. This map is a headache to play, but we're here. No going back now. The Weevil is only available in the box, annoyingly, even though it's awful and fully deserves a place on the wall. It somehow doesn't have one, but like I said, it resides in the box. Which means I have to go and break my balls just to get the bug gun. And by the way, I will also be enforcing my round 10 rule. For those of you who are maybe new to the channel or do not know about the round 10 rule, it's simple. If I don't get the gun in question by round 10, we hit the restart button. It's, it's not a difficult thing to understand. Doing these challenges in all the games, also reminds me that Cold War really did spoilers by letting us spawn with the gun we wanted to use. The things I would do to have that on Black Ops 3. Now I usually wait a few rounds or attempts before I permit the use of gobble gums, but considering the only way to get my hands on this gun was by acquiring it from the box, I started spinning for immolation liquidation as soon as I spawned, which I got on round 4. I now have 90 seconds of a fire sale and all the hope in the world to get this gun. It's also not like a great gun, so in my naive brain, I'm thinking this should be an easy pickup. Uh, I was wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong, in fact, that I got almost all of the best guns and weapons anyone playing this map could ask for, including Lil Arnie's, the Ragnaroks, the goddamn Apothecan Servant, which even though, yes, I know it's not actually called that on Rev, just shut up. <laughs> Like, literally one of the greatest ever guns in Zombies. Plus a dozen more great guns, all before even getting a whiff of the Weevil. Like, what is my luck? I swear someone purposely places a hex on me every time I go to make one of these videos like this. You know, surely my luck isn't this bad. So 90 seconds later, and I got out shafting from the box, I was left Weevil-less. And instead, I had a Dracon, which on any normal day, I would be very happy with. But of course, this isn't any normal day. I made my way over to where the box was, which was located located in the origins area of the map. Got back to spin in the box and once again just got absolutely nothing. Uh, fast forward to round 8 and the box gives me the bear. So I'm now left with a CUDA and hardly any bullets and I'm closing in on round 10. I head through to mob and I begin getting the turret activated but I end up taking a down. It's here where I pretty much just think F this run, round 8, no weevil in sight, no chance of me ever getting it before round 10, I I'm, I'm restarting. But, I then had a genius level idea. In Black Ops 3, I can bind a quick restart to any key on my keyboard. So, with that now bound, I headed back in. The plan this time was spawn in, round 1, grab an immolation liquidation, spin the box and get the weevil. And if I didn't get the right gobblegum, hit the quick restart. Easy, foolproof plan. Uh, very wrong, once again. <laughs> Apparently, Immolation is by far the most difficult gobblegum in the world to acquire on round one with your first spin of the gobblegum machine. The amount of times I spawned in, spun the machine, and didn't get Immolation was wild. I think out of about 20 runs, I got the right gum twice. The first time I got Immolation, I of course didn't get the Weevil because death me, right? But after many more runs, I finally get the right gobblegum once again, and I start spinning the box, and Finally, after deadass 45 minutes of my life, I get my hands on the Weevil. This run can finally start, so first few rounds I stick around in spawn and grind together a nice chunk of cheddar. Now I need you all to pay attention here. We beat round 5 and I complete one of the time trials. Now in my teeny tiny brain something got flipped and I then decided to go for more of the time trials. The next one in the list is to beat round 10 within 12 minutes, so I got to grinding. I blitzed my way through the next 5 rounds and it was now round 10 and I had no ammo, so I made my way over to stamina up and I spun the gobblegum machine once again and out popped a cashback. And all of a sudden I'm back in the game. We beat round 10 and I complete the second 
second time trial. And this is where the four brain cells just trying to get by uh, just died. Uh, I run up the stairs and I buy the goddamn melee weapon, swapping out to my weevil. Yep, uh, for some reason, I thought the standard melee that you spawn with, you know, the knife, that's what gets swapped out. Uh, obviously not, and I won't lie, I wasn't even mad at what I'd done. I was just genuinely sad, <laughs> so with that, I logged off and I went to bed. The next morning, I arose from my slumber and I booted up Revelations once again. This time, I didn't go down the gobblegum route. Instead, I just loaded the mod menu and gave myself the right gun from the start. I know this is like a whole next level of cheating, uh, but it is what it is. I, I promise this is all I used it for. Annoyingly as well, grabbing the gun from the mod menu, it doesn't actually give you your custom setup with attachments, so I pretty much just had to raw dog it. This run, by the way, uh, blew up in my face. I stayed in spawn for the first eight rounds, which was the first mistake. Leaving spawn at this round and then heading off to turn on the corruption turrets, yeah, not, not a great idea. Especially when you're only using a weevil. Round 10 and I get the second turret at the eyes and turned on. I then head to Nacht and get myself Jug. From here on, I head over to Verrucht, where I intend on getting the third turret turned on. It's now round 12, and that means the first Mogwa is about to spawn. Of course, I forgot this little piece of information, and of course this giant alien douche just blips into existence directly next to me as I'm trying to activate this turret. Uh, things go very badly for me from here on, and before I know, I'm dead, and I hit the restart button once again. This time there was no messing about in spawn. Mod menu loaded and we get our weevil. Round 4 I've got the turret activated and I'm out of there. I head over to the Eisen and get that turret turned on. From here I head into Nacked and get Jug bought. This time on a much lower and safer round. I then turn my attention to speed which is ever rooked. So I head back to the Eisen and make my way to Verrucked that way. Shortly later the turret is active and speed is bought. I also found my first piece of the shield here too. Now all that was left was to make my way over to mob and get the final turret turned on and then to origins for double tap. Round 7 I make my way to mob and get the turret activated. I then opted to get pack a punch turned on earlier as I'm honestly not too big a fan of being inside the apothecan as you know, I do tend to get myself killed in there quite a lot. Luckily for me however I wouldn't need to worry too much about that as pack a punch is all turned on and ready to go on round 10 and I'm feeling much better. From the apothecan I head to origins where I then get my final pack and now all that is left is to start killing zombies and making my way through the rounds. <laughs> I then die in round 12 again to another Mogwa. Really just having a rough go of it today, huh? End of round 13, I have three of my four perks back in my inventory. The only one missing was speed, which for some reason, uh, I honestly couldn't tell you why, I didn't really purchase until round 17. Like, uh, genuinely, I, I, I don't get it either. <laughs> round 18, I went and got Deadwire on the Weevil. I know that's OP as hell, but I didn't care as the Weevil was already beginning to struggle and my mental was still in the bin from the night prior. It also didn't matter much as only a few rounds later, I ended up taking another down. I'm in the spawn room training together a group of zombies and I end up getting myself trapped and downed, but because I am a dirty little cheater, once I revived, I popped a parker. Now that I had more perks and I felt a little bit more confident, things began to move forward much smoother. I got more comfortable training in the area and the rounds started flying by. It also helped that death machines were dropping like crazy and there was no way in hell I was going to keep passing them up. My confidence, however, was short-lived as on round 28, a magua showed up and just abused me. For some reason, all the alarm bells in my dumb brain just started screaming the second one of these guys show up. He has his way with me. I get trapped amongst a horde of zombies and take it down. There was also very little chance of a comeback as there were zombies all around me and the Mogwa just camped my lifeless body whilst I was on the ground. Pretty much the second I'm up, I'm straight back down and that's the end of that. But it actually wasn't because I ran it back one final time and this time I had a completely new plan. I booted up Origins. Uh, yeah, I know, once again, very odd choice, but just bear with me. For this run, I also loaded up the Cold War Zombies mod, because I wanted to see if I could maybe get to a higher round if I had ammo readily available to me, as all the gobblegum machines with this mod get replaced with ammo crates. But there was one glaring issue. Uh, this is a Weevil round 50 challenge. The Weevil doesn't exist in Cold War. But there was a loophole. 
You see, all the dig sites would still drop BO3 guns, like the Shiva, the KRM, and the Drakon. So that surely means the reward chest is the same, and the Weevil is one of the guns you can get from that chest. So I got to work grinding out my 115 headshots. I stayed in spawn for this too, as I also found a workaround to use the Gobblegum machine, and I managed to cop myself an Immolation and a Pagaholic, which, by the way, I had no idea there was that many products in this mod. I was actually a little shocked, I can't lie. Anyway, I got a Groza and a Mac 10 which did a pretty good job at doing just that. So I carefully and meticulously worked my way through the rounds, ensuring I got as many headshots as I possibly could, and then it was finally time. I got that last headshot, the reward pops from my screen, I head over to the chest, I get it opened, and I get absolutely nothing literally just opens to emptiness <laughs> and to be honest after all that hype i had for this attempt the only thing i now felt was emptiness if you've made it this far into this monstrosity of a video i thank you and if you have made it this far let me know by telling me what gun i should try and do this with next and as always i'll see you all in the next one if i recover <laughs>